Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, welcome. So nice that you clicked on this video. I am so excited for this video because we are going to do something really fun. I'm going to show you all the journal essentials, everything you need to start journaling. So I'm not talking about just a notebook and a pen. I mean, I'm going to show you almost every stationery that you can use to journal. So this video is going to be really helpful if you are just starting out or looking for something to spice up your journal spreads, to spice up the creativity and to challenge yourself. Disclaimer, do not watch this video if you are a stationary addict because this footage I'm going to show you is highly aesthetic and will make you buy more stationery. For your convenience, I have linked everything in the description box below, so check that out if you still want to watch it, continue watching this video. And if you do buy something, um, be happy about it and don't feel sad because at the end of the day, stationery is happiness. Okay, let's start. Okay, so first things first is the most important thing of course your journal before deciding what journal you're going to use you have to know the purpose of the journal what is it that you want to do in the journal is it creative writing or creative journaling do you want to use more of your watercolors or do you want to stick craft supplies in it reason why this is important it's because the paper of the journal has to be sometimes thicker or sometimes it doesn't matter. For example, if you want to use watercolors, make sure that the paper can absorb water. And if you just want to write, then the paper doesn't really matter. The journal I use and is my favorite journal is the brand Midori. I swear by these journals, they are so, so, so good. The paper quality is so good. They lay flat. Um, they have them in dotted grid and plain. And um, I do think they have like different sizes also. The paper is super soft and I think they retail around 11 euros, but it's okay. Totally worth it. The next stationery item that I want to show you are fine liners. These are honestly, in my opinion, like crucial when it comes to creativity. So creative writing. I'm going to start out with these black ones that I have from Micron. I am literally obsessed with them. I bought them three years ago and I still have them. So it is an investment that is so worth it. They come with five fine liners and a brush pen. All the five fine liner have a different tip, which is super helpful when it comes to bullet journaling and doodling and writing and whatever that you want, because sometimes you want to write in a thicker font and sometimes you want something very sharp and detailed. The thing that I like about them is that they are super black and quite affordable in my opinion you get six fine liners i said earlier five but it's six fine liners and a brush pen and they retail for around 11 euros and i use them almost every time when i journal and i bought them three years ago the next fine liners that i use are these ones from stabilo these are their fine liners in different colors i also bought them three years ago i bought them together with uh, the black fine liners and I still have them and I still use them. I even purchased more colors like the pastels colors. I use these more for faux calligraphy as you know I'm very bad at writing and stuff like that so I use them for my faux calligraphy and to give my spreads more color. You can buy them in stationery stores separately or in a pack i would recommend buying them in a pack if you want to do like a big investment they retail around 14 euros for 20 fine liners and then you can add up like i did with the pastels or neon colors another thing that you can write with are brush pens I am not a huge fan of brush pens. I once invested in these Ecoline brush pens that I am not so thrilled about, to be honest. But they are good. They are good, but I'm just very bad at calligraphy and I don't enjoy it that much anymore. 
There are so many brands out there that are having brush pens. The most popular ones are probably the Tombow brush pens. And if you know, they are pretty expensive, but they have a wide range of pretty beautiful colors. I also have some random brush pens that I got as a present. It was actually a calligraphy kit and I do use them as markers while I'm working, not specifically for journaling, but they are doing a pretty good job. But what I really want to invest in are these pencil brush pens. They come in beautiful colors and the tip is so soft. I got this red one from a shop because I featured them in my Instagram, which was really nice of them, by the way. So things that you have to know is that brush pens are generally expensive. They cost a lot, but it's an investment and you can create beautiful things with them. Just not only for calligraphy, but also to color things in, to use them as markers. I think these are the least popular stationary items out there and these are gel pens gel pens are really cool you can create beautiful things with gel pens especially when they have a metallic or a glitter touch to them and they are super cheap you can buy them in a dollar store and they will do an amazing job i literally got this whole kit for three euros and the quality is amazing and i have them now for more than two years of course you have other more expensive brands like the ones from sakura the jelly rolls they are really good i do have the white one and the glitter ones i bought them the white ones are so good and high quality on black paper as well as the glitter ones so if you are looking for a good white pen i highly recommend the sakura jelly roll one to add more art and more colors into your journaling spreads, I highly recommend you getting some colored pencils or markers. In my case, I am more of a pencil person. I have these from Arteza. They come in a pack. I got the biggest pack and it was 72 pencils in a pack. You know, today I have this really long nails on and let's do a little bit of ASMR. To add decoration to your spreads, you have so many options, so many stationery. The options are like literally endless, but I'm going to show you one of my favorite things that I always go to. And first is of course a washi tape. It's so easy to use and it adds colors, it adds doodles, it adds, it adds more depth into your journals. You just have to know how to use them. They're great for layering, for putting into the corner, for masking mistakes. Next, we have memo sheets and sticky notes. I see them as the same because it doesn't really matter to me if they stick on the back like sticky notes because I'm gonna stick them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. These are great when you wanna write in, in your journaling spreads, you know, to write on the sticky notes or in the memo sheet and also to add more colors. Of course, I cannot forget this and stickers. You can literally never have enough stickers doesn't matter how many th stickers there is in a pack i have like sticker packs with 100 stickers in it and still not enough i need more more and more stickers and of course not to forget one of my favorite things to use and that is craft paper craft paper is just, it's just my signature look when it comes to journaling i put them in the corner i rip them apart i have these memo sheets that i actually use for work but also for my journaling spreads craft paper is a great background it's great for layering and really easy to use so the last stationary item that i want to show you is my sprocket but actually it's more about pictures in your journaling spread like more personal pictures 
or pictures that you want to use you can use your printer for this you can print them out in a print shop or you can use like me a sprocket this sprocket is really amazing super helpful the pictures that come out already have a sticky back so it's kind of a sticker that it kind of prints and it's especially i think made for journaling and crafting purposes i would say make yourself a beautiful pinterest mood board and print all these pictures out so you always have them when you want to journal so these were my journaling essentials these are all stationery that i adore from all of my heart and always use Honestly, I can go on for hours. You have so many options, so many things you can use in your journaling spreads, but these are the most frequently one and great for when you're starting out. So if this video was helpful, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so, so, so much for watching and see you the next time. Bye-bye.